What's going on Sony shooters? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Drigo. Today I'm going over my Sony a7 III run and gun setup. First of all, shout out to my buddy Reggie and John Franklin for inspiring me to do this video. Uh, as you guys know, I mostly do business stuff, but I think kind of showing what I use to be able to accomplish the, you know, the gigs that I do, I think it'd be kind of cool insight for you guys. So let's get right to it. I'm shooting with the a7 III. This is my first full frame camera. I came from a Nikon D7100. I shot crop for a very long time with no autofocus. So when I updated to the a7 III, it was a game changer for me. You know, one of the main things that I really loved about this camera was the flexibility of doing the video projects that I was already doing and shooting 4K for the first time, but also having a full frame camera that was gonna allow me to do photos. For the lens is a 24 to 70 Sigma R lens. Really love this lens. It is fast, a 2.8. I've had it for about six months now. I've gotten to do some traveling with it. My last gig, be linked right up here, was the dentist video that I shot. This is the only lens that I use. Only used two lights for that shoot, and that's when I was doing my interviews. But other than that, it really allowed me to capture what I needed. The 2.8 on it's great. The autofocus on it's amazing. I'll definitely put it next to a you know sony lens i love my primes but when you are shooting events you don't have time to run back to your bag before using this lens i was a really big fan and still am a big fan of the 18 and 105 f4 g series lens super lightweight lens gives you a nice focal range and it's a, around 500 600 bucks you know a lot of people end up upgrading from you know the 6500 6300s you know, if you don't have the money to buy something like this, this lens is great. Even being an F4, I shot a lot of different events using this lens and it, it did great. So if you can't afford that, cop one of these, you won't be disappointed. So next thing on here, the cage is a Pro-M cage. You know, when I was looking around, I wanted something that I was going to get a good build quality from it, but I was also going to get a lot of value from. So I found the Pro-M cage. I saw that it came with the top handle. It came with the cable clamp. It also came with support rods, but the whole kit for the cage was only 100 bucks. I did cop some things from small rig. And the next thing was the wooden handle, which honestly, it's great, right? It really helps you balance out the weight of the camera especially shooting with the 24 to 70 lens. This really helped me kind of get some like nice steady shots, but also be able to have a nice balanced weight throughout the whole camera. The other thing I got that I really love is this monitor mount. It tilts up and down, but also swivels left to right. So, you know, if you're ever shooting some things and you need to like, let's say frame a shot, but you can't be necessarily behind a camera, being able to turn the monitor and be able to look at it like that, I thought it was great. The same thing, you know, from shooting on a Ronin and I need to get a shot that's either up high or down low, being able to tilt the monitor a lot of different ways, I thought it was great. Uh, attached to the monitor mount, you have the Automus Shinobi 5 inch. Pretty awesome monitor, have not complained about it. What I really liked about this whole setup though, I'm able to put the shotgun mic on the code shoe. And then the other thing that I did is that I put the Rode Mic Go on my actual camera. So what this allows me to do when I'm actually shooting an event, capturing B-roll, all of that, and all of a sudden, your client comes up to you and he's like, hey, we gotta do a quick interview. So when that happens, and all I do is I just switch my audio feed from my shotgun mic or vice versa. I really love this. Really makes my life super simple. I don't have to try to worry and fixing audio later on. You know, I thought it was great. Uh, the other piece of gear that I love on this whole setup is the quick release plate. Having a quick release plate really makes it really easy for me when I'm actually shooting uh, events and I need to go mobile from running around or if somebody needs to borrow my gear to set up a shot as long as everyone has a quick release plate on the camera, it makes everybody else's lives really easy. I've been in a situation that somebody hands me their piece of gear and I don't have the right, you know, plate for it or it's missing the plate, whatever the situation is. I have about seven of these quick release plates and they're only $12. I'm telling you, it will make your life a lot easier. 
So the next thing is gonna be the Manfrotto 502 head. Really love this head. This is one of the pieces of gear that I did invest some money in. Getting a nice tripod is one of those things that it's gonna go a long way for you. This one's about four or five years old. It's really good piece of equipment. And uh, the monopod itself is the iFootage monopod. It's pretty sturdy. Um, you know, same thing when I was shopping around, I was looking for something that was gonna not break the bank, but still give me plenty of value. And I saw some plenty of videos on YouTube regarding the iFootage. This is the pro version, 71 inch. Highly recommend it. It's pretty sturdy. You know, this is on carpet, so can't really beat that. So this is my run and gun setup. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Anything that I could do to help you guys have better productions, make more money, I'll love to. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.